So JP, you were in VC before you went into startups. Why did you make the move from being in VC? Yeah, you know, I, I said this last week in the class here at NYU. Uh, I'm the definition of the accidental entrepreneur, <laughs> right? So uh, after business school, I had aspirations to go back to the investment side, but the reality is the world was still in a challenging situation. And it forced me when I came back home uh, to the UAE to uh, reinvent myself and I followed my passion and uh, I'm passionate about cars which is not a new thing but knew that there was a fundamental problem in the UAE where you had uh, individual dealers importing vehicles and therefore as a consumer you, were deal you only had one place to go to for a high level service for your brand uh, of vehicle and so the idea was to build a independent provider of um, after you know after sales service and repair for your, for your car. So fast forward three years later, it's a 20,000 square foot facility in Dubai Investments Park. It's a multi-million dirham operation and we just sold uh, late last year. For your first company, that's quite impressive. And what were some of the key challenges that you faced? So obviously, you know, first time, but you were very successful. Um, what were some of the challenges? But, uh, you know, what's the definition of success? So while we did sell, actually, it, it was a, it was a, it wasn't a great uh, exit and through if you ask me today what what did you learn from this experience number one um, the team is very important uh, number two you need to really understand um, the customers needs and then three is you need to have very good tracking of, of KPIs key performance indicators because I wasn't part of the day-to-day -day. I was more of a you know, more the investor seat, checking in on the entrepreneur, the business, etc. And you, you really need to have a good control of the business so that you can share feedback with the entrepreneur of how to improve the business, to adjust, etc. So my advice to entrepreneurs is have a great team. I don't think you can do things, I, I don't think there's a concept where you have a one-man show that doesn't work. In no, anything. <laughs> in anything. You need to have a great team and surround people who complement you. Number two, I believe that you need to uh, be on top of your data so you understand where you're underperforming so you can address those issues quickly. Um, and then number three, I think it's super important to put yourself in the shoes of the customer because, especially when you're in the services business, because what differentiates you from the competition is your service. And people are willing to pay for service. You don't have to always be the cheapest so long as you provide a good service. Yeah, and you've been in this entrepreneurial space for a few years now. How have you seen it evolve and what yeah, are you excited about today? I'm, I'm very excited and very proud. You know, I, I grew up in the UAE and, you know, uh, I grew up surrounded by entrepreneurs, but it was a very different kind of entrepreneurship. My family was in construction mm -hmm. and there wasn't a lot of tech and innovation. And here we are, we're standing in an in a innovation lab with a 3D printer over there and we're here in Abu Dhabi in, in an NYU campus, which nobody would have thought of. So I'm very proud and excited that there's a lot of options for aspiring entrepreneurs to get education, to get funding. There are now incubators in the UAE. There are venture capitalists in the UAE that which didn't used to exist, which is one of the reasons why I stayed abroad, right? Is that I wanted access to, to that, but now it's available here, which is amazing. Mm, yeah, it's really great to see it all develop, isn't yeah. it? Well, thank you very much for your thank time. You.